welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and we're gonna start taking a look at some of the hardware items on Temptress. So we're gonna begin that by looking at the windscreen brackets, quite an interesting fabricated part for the Temptress design. So uh, let's take a look at the 3D model first and see what's going on with them. So these are our windscreen brackets. Now you can see that they are this curved design and these brackets are actually designed to be cut from a flat sheet and then rolled to form this curvature and then welded. So they're not actually a cast part. A lot of people think this is a cast component. These are designed to be fabricated from sheet. On the full size boat that is supposed to be stainless steel and that would definitely be my recommendation for a, a full size boat if you're going for that. For the model, I'm gonna work with aluminium. And you'll see why that is because I am by no means a fabricator with certainly with regards to stainless steel. Aluminium allows me um, a bit more flexibility and freedom within my skill set. So I'm gonna do them in aluminium, but uh, let's take a look at the way that they're constructed. So this is what they look like. We've got a rolled bracket on the port and starboard side of the boat, obviously mirror image versions of each other. They've got these little plates on the underside of them that mount them to the deck. And then we've got one central bracket as well, which is just a straight one with two little plates on the bottom. And each of them have these moldings that take the windscreen glass. So off the boat, let's have a little look at how that actually goes together. So this is our windscreen arrangement. And if we turn a couple of bits off that we don't need, we'll get rid of the glass and the inserts. You can see what we have here. So I said that these side brackets here are rolled. Now, if we put in a forming block, you can see what I mean by that. So you can see that this is the, the way in which they're rolled. So it's kind of on the same plane as the uh, the vertical section of the bracket that meets the uh, the windscreen glass, and then they're rolled around this plane here, which forms the inward curvature of the windscreen brackets for the side. So we've got an unwrapped pattern for that, so we unroll that in CAD, and then that gives a pattern that can be either laser cut or water jetted or CNC cut, depending on which process you've got available to you. A lot of places now you can very easily outsource water jetting or laser cutting, things like that, and just get the parts delivered right to your door. So this bracket setup is designed to be, um, to be done in that way. If you're gonna be doing these in stainless on the full size boat, you are really gonna to need to make friends with a pretty good stainless steel fabricator. This is quite a tricky fabrication job and actually every single company that I've approached in the UK so far have refused to even quote me for this. Now, this is a little bit of a gripe that I have with places like that in the, in the UK. I find that people, if anything's just a little bit out of the norm or a bit of a challenge, they're not really interested in getting involved with it. So I've approached a number of fabricators in the UK already, and as I say, they've all told me, no thanks, don't even want to price it, which is a real shame because I think this is a very cool part and an interesting project so um, if it comes to building a full-size temptress I think I'll be buying myself a TIG welder and learning to do this myself. In any case I'm going to do these in aluminium so um, what I'm going to do is jump downstairs onto the CNC machine because I'm able to cut aluminium on that. I'll cut myself out a set of uh, flat pattern parts and we'll go from there.
Okay, now when it comes to rolling, obviously in an ideal world, you would have a, a slip metal roller and be able to roll these properly. I don't have any of those sorts of tools. I'm very limited on metal fabrication stuff because I am predominantly a woodworker. So um, I had to improvise a little bit here and use a piece of stainless steel tube. It just so happened that a section of the um, old exhaust system out of missile worked out just well for the right radius for me to curve these two. So the bend radius on these brackets on the full size boat is 150 mil. That scales down obviously four to one at a 37.5 mil radius for this bend. When it comes to cutting the channel sections that receive the windscreen glass on this, I've done this with the CNC machine, but I've actually just done this in manual mode. So I'm basically driving this machine the same way that you would drive a traditional metal milling machine. So that's probably the way that these are gonna have to be done. Certainly in stainless, you're gonna be using the machine with coolant and things like that on it um, for that, because it's much harder material. So um, I've just cut these out manually by hand to, uh, to give me those grooves that receive the ends of the windscreen brackets and the ends of the windscreen glass as well. And because I'm working from square bar, I also use the machine just to put the rough guidance taper on the front end of the central bracket pillar. So I just started out by machining that in stepped levels, which I then took down to a true taper or an approximate taper more like actually with, uh, with this belt sander machine and uh, got that around about the right shape that I wanted it to be. Then we're on to brazing. So I'm using an aluminium brazing rod here, which is a really helpful um, product if you're, you know, you're not set up for welding, which I'm not. I don't have any welding gear. I've, um, I've not done it for many years and uh, probably awful at it. These rods are um, very much like a brazing rod, but actually it's probably more akin to soldering actually, because it works at a very low temperature. You can just use a standard propane torch for it, which is really helpful. You're not at risk of getting too much heat into the aluminium, which is ideal for something like this, where it's really thin, lightweight pieces, and uh, I wouldn't want to be getting those too hot and burning through them. So this, uh, this product works really well. You basically just brush off the surface of the aluminium with these little stainless steel wire brushes and that just takes the oxide layer off the top of the aluminium first. And then you heat that up with a standard propane torch and you just flow in the, uh, the brazing rod very much, as I say, like the way that you would solder something. And you can almost use it like a filler actually. If you can just sort of feather that heat in and out, you can just fill in tiny little sections and use it for, uh, for filling. I wouldn't want to use this for anything majorly structural. Um, probably using that on the full size boat might be a bit of a push for the, for the windscreen brackets. They should probably be welded, I would think. But I've used it before for repairing things like castings and, um, and stuff. And if it's just a kind of cosmetic or semi-structural repair, they're, they're perfectly suitable for that. And it's a very strong joint, actually. Obviously not as strong as welding, but um, worked really well in this instance. And it blends nicely into the aluminium as well and you can polish it so that you don't see the two as a transition so um yeah i quite like them they they work for me as a woodworker
Okay, there we have a windscreen assembly. That is gonna look pretty cool when we get to put that on the model. Looking forward to that. I'll show you a little close up of some of the bits. So there we have one of the side wings. And then the central pillar as well. Okay, now you'll notice that I haven't put the pads on the bottom of these yet, and that is because I'm not entirely sure yet quite how these are gonna sit. So you can see that these wings here are able to move in and out. And that is gonna, they're gonna wanna follow the contour of the deck once the covering boards are on, these are actually gonna match in with those. And also our central bracket is gonna be slightly higher. So as that comes up, that is gonna affect the angle in this direction that the uh, bracket sits at. And that is also gonna affect how the bottom edge of this is shaped to fit on those pads. So I think I wanna do those final little tweaks to this once I've got this so I can actually place it on the boat and start to get a feel for that, shape that bottom edge, which is along here. Um, that's going to need a little bit of tweaking, I think, just to get those pads placed underneath. And uh, yeah, be much happier doing that further down the line once I can put this on the deck. Obviously, I'm a little bit ahead of the curve doing this at the moment because uh, the boat's not even planked yet. But I thought it was an interesting uh, one to get done anyway. So there we go. There is a look at the rough process for how these windscreen brackets are going to be fabricated. As I mentioned, I am by no means a metal fabricator and there are a lot of things here that... I kind of struggled with and didn't get as good as I would have liked, but um, my kind of view on metalwork is that if I can treat it like a piece of wood, I can just about get away with it. So um, we pretty much got there in the end, say a couple of bits left to fabricate on the bottom edge of this, but uh, I think that'll be good enough for our model. Now I know that windscreen brackets are one of those things that people really struggle to get a nice quality one for. If you're building boats and things like that, not just Temptress, but any other boat, there's something that you can really struggle to find good good versions of. So I thought about making the plans for these available for people if you wanted to fabricate these yourselves for a different boat, not just necessarily Temptress. I think they would actually scale quite well because obviously these have scaled proportionally, but you could do them maybe half scale for a little sort of runabout or something like that. With Temptress, these are actually gonna be really big, that kind of size, I would imagine, windscreen brackets. But um, yeah, maybe sort of a 50% scale would work quite well for a little runabout or something. So if that's something that you guys would be interested in, um, getting hold of the plans for these and possibly in a range of different sizes so you can make them yourself for different boats, just let me know in the comments below and um, I'll look at putting those together and um, making them available so that people can, uh, can do the same thing. So uh, there we go. Hope you found the video interesting and useful and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.